hey, we're here down at Green River Lake State Park. And all of us are like independent businesses and the value of free time and how important that free time is for us all because most of the time none of us do it. So Doug, and he can tell you what he does and his company name, and I'll tell you what I do. I, I make tall grass short. Charlie will tell you what he does. Charlie's got more experience than all of us. And if you want to learn something, listen to this guy, because he's got more experience. How many crews do you run, Charlie? How many people? 35. Charlie had 35 people working at one time, and you guys talk about me and you can't get one or two. He had 35. So anyway, and Timmy, Timmy, tell us, tell us what you do. We'll start with Timmy over there. Timmy, what do you like about free time? What do you do? I come to the lake just to get away from the stress, the strain of life. Then you get, now oh, we're not even gonna go there. <laughs> but it's just the, Get away from everything, have a little family time, friend time, enjoy it. Do you ever run into any stress down here? Oh, yeah. Tell us your story about last night. <laughs> no, we're going to skip last night. <laughs> what about you, Doug? Oh, just to get away from everything is quite nice. Um, it is stressful doing a small business, uh, you know, keeping everything up and going, all the guys happy, all the customers happy. happy. Uh, what do you do? You pray. I pray a lot. I pray, I yeah, pray I a lot. Uh, you know, you just kind of let some of it just kind of slide through. Do the best you can every day. Work hard. That's the bottom line. Work hard. You just hope who shows up shows up and that's right. get the job done. Find a good crew. And take care of the good crew. That's right. That's the name of the game. Take care of the crew. You know, that's true because a lot of guys talk about, man, how do you get good help? And what do you find is the key to that? You got to pay good help to keep good help. That's right. You have to. And even then, it's hard, but you do the best you can. Now we're to the Godfather, Charlie Hardesty. <laughs> Charlie, what do you do? Drywaller. In how long? 55 years. 55 years. Can y'all believe that? 55 years. Most of you guys probably ain't that old twice. <laughs> You know, so you gotta listen to Charlie what he tells you. I learn a lot from Charlie, I really do. Charlie's always talking about not to do. Well, well, you know what not to do is like what saves us all. Yeah, that's right. Definitely. It ain't what to do, because what to do is an opinion. What not to do is history, right? Right. You know, true. Charlie had what did you say, thirty-five people? At one time. Yeah. That's a pretty good payroll, ain't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Keeps you jumping. Lot. What yeah. would you think the worst part about having 35 people working is? Trying to keep them all busy at one time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Doug, what about you? What do you think the hardest part of your job is? It's just mm, keeping the guys motivated, keeping everything in line in order to make the profit. In our business, that's we, everything's got to be in a certain line to keep everybody busy so you're making a good profit off everything. Uh, equipment is another big thing, dealing with the equipment part of it, keeping everything up and going, maintained properly, it's huge. And that's, uh, if you can do all that, you can do pretty well. You do all right, isn't it? You that's right. Sure can. Mr. Hamilton, Timmy? You can have a little, if everything goes right, you can have a little time to come down here and get away. That's it. Some time to get away. How long did it take you to realize that you needed to have time away? It took me way too long to figure that out. Definitely. That my fr I needed free time. You know what? What about you, Doug, or anybody, Charlie? Run away from home. <laughs> Run away from home. <laughs> Come on down here anyway. That's right. Because because what's going to be there when you get back? The same old the way. same old thing, right? It's for every one of us. It doesn't matter what we do. You know, we we go away, and you, whether you go away or you don't go away, it's the same thing. Again, I realized when I needed to get away. When my kids got big, my first two kids got big enough to say, "Well, you're going to work again." And the weekends was done. Yeah, it was family time. Man. You can, are you good? I agree. Yeah, I, I found that true too. That you know, it, it's 
the work's always going to be there. No matter how long there. you work, you're never going to get done. Yep. You know, I never get caught up. That's for sure. And you know, it's something I found, and I mean, tell me about you guys, man. Something I found a lot was the reality that the people we have working enjoy their free time too. Right. You can't work somebody seven days a week. You got that guy that wants to work seven days a week, but we found that hey, just like I wanted time off to recharge and be better at what I do, my they, employees they need that same. same time off. We all like to do what we like to do, you know, and we I think that's where we fall short a lot. That's where I fell short. I want it off, but I want my guys working, and that's not fair. You know, let let your people have the same time off is my, my whole opinion on that. I mean, y'all don't have to agree with me, but I, agree with I found, you know, people ask us, man, how do you have guys been with you 17, 18, 20, 30 years like we have in our business? It's because we give them time off. That's right. You get you know, to. Everybody, they're raising families, you know, they got small kids, and they want to enjoy everything they were enjoying as well. Yeah. And, you know, have the money to be able to do that. And, yet, and, and pay them a fair wage to, you, you know. You have to. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, Timmy, let's wrap this up, man. What do, what do you think? About which part? Any part of it. What's your words of wisdom to these guys out there that are in a business, whether it's one year or 30 years? Work hard. Take care of your men. Play even harder. That's it. Because tomorrow yeah. is not a given day. Work hard and play. Guys. Damn it, son. That was good. I don't care what they say about you. <laughs> Charlie, what about you? You're the godfather of the group. I don't know. My father taught me a lot about that because he worked all his life. When he did, he was over with. And so I decided to play when I could. So I worked to play. You know, me too, man. You know, my dad sent me down. He's dead now, and I love my dad a lot. He told me that same thing. He, he sent me down one day about 20 years ago, maybe 25. I don't know. It's been a long time. He said, Wayne, don't make the same mistakes I made. He said, I worked hard. I made a good living, and I provided for you guys, but I missed you all growing up. He said, take the time and spend it with your family now. He said, work hard, just like Timmy said. Same thing my dad told me, work hard, play harder, and your company will be better for it. True. So Doug, you're last, well, but not certainly not the least important. You got, hey, you, you got the, you got the spotlight. This is it. Uh, that's good. That's what I like. Hell yeah. It's uh, my grandmother. She told me that when I got into this, all this camp and stuff, I'm like, you know, I don't want to put out that much money to do all this. I was like, you know, what should I do? She's in my grandmother's probably 68 or 9 probably at the time. And she's like, do it now. Enjoy it. Go out. Because when you get my age, you're not going to feel like doing it. And all that money that you've collected won't do you any good. Just go enjoy it. That's right. So, That's right. If you're going to work hard, you might as well play hard. Play yeah, hard. That's, it. That's, That's it. right. And remember, everybody, it's this simple. Work hard, play hard. You got four different industries represented here. You got a guy that kills bugs, a guy that makes grass short. Charlie does uh, drywall, and Timmy's in the power line business and welding business. But at the end of the day, it's all work hard, play harder, and remember, profit is not a dirty word.